So continuing this series of messages around change, one of the ways we can impact positively on the changes that people undertake is the way in which we frame things. Everything that we describe in terms of words is an opportunity to put it into a frame. And the brain likes frames. The brain likes to be able to open a file and go on a search for what that means. Let me give you an example of two different types of framing. Let's imagine I'm coming in to my team's management meeting next week. And we've got a few issues, a few challenges that we need to address in the meeting. I could come into the meeting and frame it like this. Morning, everyone. As you know, we've got a number of problems right now, quite urgent problems we need to address. So let's get right into the agenda. That's kind of a negative framing. And what will happen, people will hear the words urgent and problem and it will open files, it will open neuronal pathways in your team's brains and they'll go on a search for things that they perceive as urgent and a problem. So it will start to trigger all sorts of memories and pathways connected to that. How about this as an alternative framing? Good morning, everyone. We've got a number of interesting opportunities here this morning where we really have an opportunity to learn from what's going on right now and create some solutions and ideas that we haven't yet thought of. Shall we get started? Notice my framing there and I'm not I'm not being over optimistic. I'm not living in la la land. I'm choosing to use words like opportunities and growth and creativity and this is opening all of these pathways in people's brains and they're starting already to think in that direction which surely is a little bit better than opening all the negative boxes especially we want to, when we need to be creative and find solutions so framing actually plays an essential role in the way in which you lead your life and the way you communicate to others. So I'm off to think very, very carefully about the way in which I frame things, the files in my brain or other people's brains I want to open, and as a result, where the focus, attention, and energy goes following the opening of that frame. How about you?